Hello everyone, so we're going to go ahead and show how to replace the recirculation pump in a CH240 Combi Navian. This one was built in 2013. But um, the recirculating pump is not working. It's having a um, boiler overheat signal and arrow code 001E. So when you fire up the boiler and the heat exchanger, the water is getting stuck around the circulator pump and it's not able to push out the hot water and it's causing an overheat signal so the unit uh, shuts down so we're, so we're going to go ahead and replace the recirculation pump and um and that should solve it here's what the new recirculation pump looks like it's going to go in sitting just like this so we'll leave this here for now Right now, the, the unit was actually running. They just had um, hot water go into their heater, their uh, radiant heating. Um, but their recirculation pump is super hot right now. So, I don't want to touch it. So what I'm going to do is just flush, flush it out with some cold water. The cold water side here. So what I'm doing here is shutting off the main large valves on the um, hot water heater side and the house heating side. So you just turn off both the blue and red on the hot water side and the blue and red on the heating side. And then you have these other valves where you can access you know, the TPs coming out. And what I'm doing is connecting the fresh water input and connecting it over to the heating side. And then I'm flushing the cold water through the heating pipes and out of the heating exit black tube into my bucket. All right, just circulating some of that hot water from the cold side out my hose here into the bucket the water's quite warm so I'm trying to cool it off so we'll take this PCB board off first just kind of get this out of the way. There's three screws to do. So I screw one on the top, two here in the bottom, two here. We'll do our best to get this out of the way, but in this machine, it's really, really tied up pretty good. That's pretty good like that. All right, so for this combi, I got two screws in the bottom and then two screws where the port, the drain port is. This is off, this is off. This is open, this is open, but it's nice to, uh, this is off. So it's nice to drain this, but I don't think it's gonna drain much. Let's see what, we'll open the bottom. here. I just released the pressure and it's draining a little bit now. While it's draining, we'll just keep taking off some of the screws. These are just the mounting, this is the mounting bracket here. I'll take off the mounting bracket screw here. Got the mounting bracket screw there. And another mounting bracket screw here. Here's the 
Johnson bracket. Take off the uh, pump drain. Here's the pump drain. Looks good. Inside, I'll show you. Just put some paper towels up here. It's gonna, it's gonna leak a little bit up here. Before I get up there, I'll go ahead and take the two bottom screws off. Next screw up. So now it's on the bottom, it's loose, but there's two other parts. So this needs to come off. And then there is a part in the back. There's a little groove where there's a clip that goes. So this clip is located right. Right there, that little red marking on it. Right there, that clip. So we're gonna take that off. You just kind of reach in and it pulls right out. Just like that. <laughs> and then for the top part, you just unscrew it. and unscrew it. I just brought it up here. This thing just went off now. Now it's completely free. Just gotta bring it around my, this is my three-way valve back there. Three-way valve wires, but now I'm just gonna move this out. The only other thing is the uh, this cord. We're gonna need to cut the cord here. Let me just take a look where it goes. Yeah, so it goes all the way. This one full piece goes all the way to here to the recirculation pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Just cut it right here. Look in here. Looks good. Looks awesome. Alright. Get the new pump. So just slide right in. Just 
put down the top bar, as you can see. Just gonna screw this down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that clip in on the back. Unfortunately, you just have to do the feel method where you reach back and you just feel it. It's quite painstaking. There you go. Slip right in there. Now we can re-screw on. The recirculator pump screws that anchor it. Anchor it to the bottom here. And then we'll put on that mounting bracket again. back in drain plug mounting bracket will go like so bracket is in. Now, we reposition our PCB board. There we go. I may just have this come this way. Take our PCB board screws. Pop these back in. That's good there. Now I just gotta get out. You can see, I don't know if you can read that, but it says circulation pump. So we'll just pop this out. Just kinda get a squeeze. Squeeze the side there, it comes on out. Put 
the moon back in. Alright. It's all set. Let's just flush the system again. So, you have, I got my cold water. This side I already isolated. I got both. This one's off. The hot water side's off, but they got the fresh water coming through. So then we got fresh cold water coming up and the um, drain valve is open here. So what I'm going to do is give it some water. I'll open this up. I'll give it a little bit of water. You see it start coming through here. Get some of that air out. That's off, that's on. Close this off 100%. I'll open up. Alright. Everything's open. Everything's off on top, open on otherwise. And that's, that's it, now we'll fire it up. That's how you install a circulation pump on a CH240 combi, navian, hot water, and heater system. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video.